Hi, I'm Oscar. Uh, finished watching Graduating Peter. Uh, tons to talk about, honestly, when it comes to that video. Uh, a little excited, but let's start from the first question. Uh, talk about your high school experience and graduation. Uh, high school experience, great. I had fun, had a blast, best friends. Um, graduation, I never, I never really, uh, that never really mattered to me, the, the, the celebration, because I guess I just knew, hey, it's the next. I mean, they've been telling me I've been graduating from fifth grade, eighth grade. I mean, did a high, high school didn't seem like a big deal at all either. Uh, but that's just how I always am, man. I, I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer about those things. I know a lot of people really do love those celebrations. Um, how did high school prepare me for work and life? Wow, okay, so from a socialistic standpoint, high school definitely prepared me for life and work. Um, you know, you know how to speak to somebody in a professional manner, in a respectful manner. Um, but really for work, in terms of that, uh, in terms of like college, no, I, 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 have, to di I have to disagree because I think the I think one of my biggest complaints about high school was I didn't learn enough life skills. Like, I why did I have to sit there in my uh, why did I have to sit there in my my English class? You know, learn tr having teachers make me write uh, essays in twenty minutes so I could do really well on a test. Like that doesn't help me in life. That helped me pass a test. So I don't, I don't really think in that sense, uh, high school really prepared me uh, for a lot of things that you would encounter in the workplace, in life. Um, college was its own, own thing. It was nothing like high school. I can't say high school prepared me to deal with college classes. Uh, what did graduation mean to you and your family? I, I, like I said, to me, not a big thing. My family, uh, I think college is the only one that that's really a big deal to them. Uh, but looking at the film, there was a lot to say about this. So I had a uh, I had a class last semester, and I wish I could tell you exactly which number it was. But uh, my teacher was going exactly over this. I mean, she was she she talked to us in depth and in detail about how, you know, they look at uh, they look at the students and say, you know, hey, what are like realistic objectives and goals? And we got told stories about how they became Walmart greeters or. Uh, having a functional job that suits their skill set and doing this so like this video was actually pretty cool because it, it was real insight into what she was talking about and I got to I got to really um, it was like elaborating on that a lot more um, how is my experience similar to Peter though and different well similar honestly I feel like we're all like when you see Peter uh, in the scene where he they take him to go be the janitor and he's kind of like moving, but he looks lost, you know, like he's just like, okay, you're just telling me to go do this and that and okay, good. I mean, that's how I felt, you know, I go to my first, my first job was a uh, technical construction worker, but like really like a professional is like Buffalo Wild Wings. And I felt the same way. I remember my first day just going, go here, go there. Don't even know if I'm doing right, but I'm going where I'm supposed to be. So I feel good. So... I think uh, just like Peter, any one of us is, is exactly like that the first time we go into the real world, you know, like the real workplace. Um, different, I don't think people are as nice to me if I messed up. But um, my biggest takeaway from the film, my biggest takeaway was just reinforcing why I got into special education. Um, I got into this with the idea that I saw potential, you know? Um, I think a lot of people struggle to see potential in a dire, in what seems like a dire situation. And, you know, like, I don't remember her name, but the teacher with the curly red hair and the glasses, you know, the first thing she tells you is like, I'm not worried about peter getting there i'm worried about peter taking care of himself you know she she really looks at everyone wants to be sure peter's okay you know oh is is he gonna be okay 
doing all this stuff and she's like he's fine we just have to make sure he does it that it gets done right that it goes she's she she's not she's not looking at what might hinder him she's looking at what he should be capable of doing and that's the same way i feel you know i saw peter going to the kitchen for his other job and the first thing i thought was my homie's gonna make a soup but they kind of had him watch this and i understand you always gotta stand uh you gotta start at a good base uh, simple things but you know, as a teacher, that's just what I want to do. I want you to go for more. I don't want you in the kitchen. I want you to cook something. Make me the best soup you can. You know, like whatever your passion is, I want to, I want to like thrust kids into that so that when they do leave, they're doing something that they love. You know, because just like any one of us, we don't want to go into a job just because we know how to do it. We want to go to a job because we love it. You know, so I feel that was my biggest takeaway. You know, just reinforcing why I got into this, why I want to do this. But it was really cool to to see the steps taken, um, how the thought process is brought together. Because you could see the board, like, or I, I, I'm going to call it a board. They, they would come and talk about the situation, see how they can improve, what things they're concerned about. Things like that, that, you know, we just get told, but we never really get to see it in action or what it's like. We just kind of get to do practice things. But when you're in that real conversation and the situation is real, you know, it, it's good to see how to re how people react, how people think, what's the process like. I think all that stuff is very important. But that's all I got, guys. Thank you.